Hi everyone, I just wanted to catch up about last week, week 35 here at Lambda School. It was basically another ordinary week, so I wasn't really in a rush to get this video up and running um, right away. Um, so three big things that happened last week. Uh, basically, the first one is applying to jobs. The second one is coding. And then the last one is just having a quick meeting with one of the uh, mentors that I had, or one of the connections that I had. So first off, with job applications, it's been the same. I've been using LinkedIn, Glassdoor, and Angel List to try to find jobs. So I haven't had any significant progress in terms of um, interviews or take-home projects or anything like that. However, I am doing a lot of research and finding more and more about the kind of companies I'd like to work at in the future. So I'm still going with that. I'm applying to jobs and keep crossing my fingers. I know it takes the process takes longer um, than you know after after graduating. So I'm not discouraged. I know it's just a numbers game, and then I'm eventually going to find a cool place that I'm going to want to work at. So my process is still the same. I try to reach out to people in the company to try to connect with them so that they know that there's a face to the application. Otherwise, I think my application would just get lost in the stack, right? So, and then I would submit my resume, which was checked by my career coach, and my submit my portfolio page, and also my LinkedIn so that they know who I am. And yeah, that's it for the most part. Nothing really new or groundbreaking. So um, just going to keep uh, going at it here and see what kind of jobs I get soon. Second part is coding. I actually just finished another course from, uh, this one is actually from Front End Masters. It's uh, called A Practical Guide to Algorithms uh, for JavaScript. Now, I've done some algorithm and data structure stuff with Python during my Lambda school days. However, I never really did it with JavaScript, so I figured this would be a good practice and a good course to get back into it and practice my chops for interviews. And then I also recently signed up for the Front End Masters um, yearly subscription. And considering I'm here in Mexico, they actually gave me a discount, which was pretty solid. And so I signed up for a year and hopefully take advantage of all the cool courses that they have, such as Node, Express, React, Angular, AWS, GraphQL, and a whole bunch of other stuff on design and um, layouts and things like that, animations. So I'm really excited to hop into that platform. And I've been doing other stuff as well, working on with Python, a website called CodingBat, doing the algorithms on there, which I finished recently. I did not do the Java section, obviously, because I never learned it, and I don't think it's a good time to pick it up right now, in my opinion, um, considering there's so many other things to learn, of course. And then uh, I also have a Udemy Python course that I'm doing as well, and then also jump back into free code camp, like I mentioned last week. So I'm always keeping busy, always submitting to my GitHub to keep it green, always learning, and that's how you got to go. And then the last thing was I had a meeting with a connection that was provided with, provided for me through Lambda School. Basically, these connections are people in the industry that may be able to help you land a job. So like, if they can help you make a connection with someone through someone that they know, um, it's, uh, it's really cool and it, it's... Uh, what I've been talking to my connection about. They talk, They told me about the industry in Texas, in one of the cities there. We talked about um, the lifestyle there, the, the cost of living, the, the, uh, the people, and all, like, all the things that you typically would want to know about city, and also the tech industry there, which is really important. And so, yeah, I met with them last week, and then, you know, we're still keeping in contact. I'm also meeting with other connections trying to find a job still. That's the ultimate goal. And so what's coming up for me next? Basically, I want to let you know that I don't 
want to bombard you with the same information I'm doing every week, um, basically applying to jobs and you know coding and things like that. So I'm gonna go dark for a while until something significant pops up. So whether it's like a, I don't know, if I get to the second stage of the interview or something, I'll definitely pop up and tell you guys about that. Otherwise, assume that I'm just applying to jobs and still coding. And the other thing is that please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. There are some people that have already um, connected with me on LinkedIn and Twitter because I do have a background in the medical industry. It's kind of interesting to see someone transition over to tech. So I absolutely invite you to connect with me. Um, and if there's any questions that I can help answer about Lambda School or about breaking into tech or anything, um, please let me know. We're on the same boat. It's better if we all get, you know, put some uh, paddles in together so we can move the boat along, right? <laughs> so I think that's going to be it for me. The next time you'll hear from me, which will probably be something more significant. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to keep it short here. And thanks again for watching and following my journey through Lambda School. Um, I'm actually going to be participating in a pilot program coming up here. And I'll report to you at the end of that as well, once I finish. It's a five-week pilot. So a lot of there's always innovation at Lambda School. If you've been watching my videos, you've known that they, they changed a lot. <laughs> So again, um, thanks for watching and following with me and hope to have some exciting for you next time. Good luck on your endeavors and please feel free to reach out and good luck and see you next time. Thanks for watching.